Yeah. And before we uh, move forward, I want you to try this activity now. Right. So it is in the uh, page number 204. Right. And uh, using this diagram, you are going to find the answer for these things. Right. The 7.7. .7. Right, so let's see uh, what are the things that you can uh, have as the results. Right, so it is in page number 204. Right, and uh, the data is in this table. Right, I'm sorry. Right. Yes, give it a try people, send me the answers on the chat, right? So uh, I'll tell whether it is correct or wrong. And uh, it's better you uh, Ne like number these things. Uh, let me uh, number it as a narration so it will be easier for you to uh, say. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So there are twelve things. Right, okay, just see. So you only need to put the uh, question number and send me the answers. Yes, first one. Uh, yeah, Hiroka, it's D2 that they are saying, not D1. So be careful. Yes, Asitma, first one is correct. Udamya, first one is correct. Hiroka, first one is correct. Sayuri, first one is correct. Oh, Pehara, now that's very uh, uh, quick, right? Yeah, yeah. 
So yes, first one is correct, second one is correct, third one is correct, fourth one is correct, and fifth one is correct. Uh, yeah, try to do it by yourself. Don't put it in Excel, right? Or Sitma, second one is correct. And uh, D2, C4. Udamya, second one is correct. Hiruka, second one is correct. Asitmi, second one is correct. Asitmi, third one is correct. And people who are visiting now, Sayuri, second one is correct. Asit me, fourth one is correct. Good. Sayuri, third one is correct. Hiruka, third one is correct. Yes, Hiruka, third one is, uh, the fourth one is correct. Yes, fourth one is correct. Sayuri, fourth one is correct. The people who are entering now, we are doing the, uh, uh, the activity on page number, this is 204, right? Yeah, 204. And uh, please try those things. Yes, Udamya, fifth one is correct. Hiruka, fifth one is correct. Asitma, fifth one is correct. Asitmi, sorry, fifth one is correct. Sayuri, fifth one is correct. Hiruka, sixth one is correct. Pehara, sixth one is correct. Asitmi, uh, Asitmi, that, that should be the sixth answer, right, Dua? Yeah, yeah, that is correct. Udamya, sixth one is correct. And Ravindu, first one, no, Buddha, no, no, no. First one is not correct, Buddha. You have to uh, multiply A1 by B1 first, then you have to minus B2. Just check again.
Pehara, seventh one. I think there's a problem. Just recheck. Okay. I think. Yeah, seventh one, that's correct. Hiruka, seventh one is correct. Or Sitmi, seventh one is correct. Sayuri, sixth one is correct. And people uh, don't go for the eighth one. Eighth one is a bit difficult because it is asking for like fifth power of the fourth. So yeah, we have to uh, put that into the uh, excellency. So it's enough if you do, uh, if you done up to seven, right? And if you are done up to seven, uh, try the ten and eleven. As well as nine, you can omit the eight. Omit the eight. And uh, someone send me the answer. Let me see. Yes, Hiruka, Asitmi, Udamya. Udamya, the seventh answer is wrong, doer. Hiruka and Asitmi, seventh answer is correct. Pehara, seventh is correct. Sairi, seventh is correct. Meuni, first one is correct, second one is correct, third one, there is a problem. Fourth one is correct, fifth is correct, sixth is correct. Seven, again, there is a problem Do Look at third and seven, third and seventh. Or sit me for ninth, uh, hold on. I miss my track, I have to uh, work it out, hold on. May only third one, yes, that's correct, that's correct. Yes, ninth one is correct. Asitmi, ninth one is correct. Tenth, yeah, Asitmi, you have passed mine. Uh, like, uh, that's good. I'm still doing the tenth. Hold on. And that's great, people. Uh, how this is going to be, let me see. So it's 1.5. Mm -hmm. 24th. Oh, is it, is it 12? Is it 12? Yes, 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 it is 12. It is 12. That is correct. Tenth is correct, and yeah, Denuka first one is correct. Or Sidmi tenth is correct. Uh, uh, Pehara nine one is correct. Eleventh, let me see your Sidmi. You are too fast. 
but it's good. It's good. Right, uh, Osanga, uh, no Buddha. Uh, first one, Nika, put the Kai work through Karanoni. You can be Utre. Eleventh one, I have to uh, work out. Udamya, seventh one is correct. Osanda, second one is correct. Udamya, seventh is correct. Osanda, second is correct. Sayuri, ninth one is correct. And Pehara, tenth one is correct. I think I said Osanda to the first one is correct. Uh, so Hiruka ninth is correct. And uh, Osan, uh, Osanda third one is correct. Fourth is correct, fifth is correct. Yeah. Asit me, yeah, try the 12th. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see whether uh, 12th is needed. No, don't do the 12th. 12th is big, like uh, they are going for like, you can't do it uh, by just thinking of, of it. You have to uh, put it in the uh, Excel sheet. And Asanda ninth one is correct. Prehara 11th one is correct. Yeah, Dinelka, uh, let me see, first one is correct, second is correct, third is correct, fourth is correct, fifth is correct, sixth is correct, seventh is correct, ninth is correct, ten is correct, eleventh, eleventh, uh, yeah, in eleventh, uh, do I in eleventh you say like, uh, like one, eleven over thirty-two or like one and one over thirty-two? Eleventh, actually, I have to uh, see whether how it is working. Let's see how it is working. Yeah, so I think most of you have done this uh, clearly and correctly, right? Uh, Sairi 10th one is correct. Hiruka 10th one is correct. Uh, yeah, Dinaka, let's see, let's see uh, how it happens, how it happens. So it says equals two divided by four divided by two into six plus one. That should be the one, right? Yes. It's kind of 2.5. Let me see how the things are going to happen. Two divided by four is half, half divided by two is. Uh, hold on, let me let me check. Sairi, the tenth one is correct. Hiruka, ten is correct. Denuka, uh, no, that is not the answer for the tenth one. Denuka, Udamya, ninth one is correct. And yeah, I'm I'm wondering how the eleventh one. Denuka, tenth one. Yeah, that should be the answer. Yes, Denuka, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah, in the 11, that means this one, this says D3 divided by C3 divided by B3. Now, D3 means four. 
I'm sorry, D3 means eight. Ah, yes, it's my bad. I have written it in an incorrect way. D3 divided by C3. That means eight divided by four divided by B3. That means two, right? And into A3 means six plus B2, that means two. Yeah, eight divided by four is two, two divided by two is one. It's going to be a problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, answer is going to be the seven. Eight divided by four is two, two divided by two is one, one into six is six, six plus one is seven. Yeah, eleventh, it is seven. Yeah, for eleventh, it is seven. All right, people, good. You guys are interacting and uh, so good. Most of you have uh, sent me the answers. So people who haven't sent me the answers, you can send it uh, to, the, uh, to my WhatsApp number, right? So I'll uh, take a look on those. So let's move forward, right? So today I'm going to uh, give you the calculations. So like uh, we are going to learn the calculations using the functions. Right now, when it comes to the functions, it is that like if you consider the Excel, there are like hundreds of functions, right? And those functions are using for many different things that we are doing, right? I'll, I'll show you some uh, uh, details uh, that I have done using the Excel later, right? Uh, with lots of functions, right? And uh, that is a particular payroll system that I have done to uh, some particular uh, company, right? And uh, uh, it, it use, like in the Excel, there are many types of functions and function has a particular work, right? In, in, in other words, it has a particular function to perform, right? Now, according to your syllabus, we are going to learn about these kinds of functions, which is sum, average, max, mean, and count, right? So, uh, Ravindu, uh, we have done this uh, exercise so far, and now we are start uh, discussing this Buddha. We haven't wrote anything else, right? So, now, First of all, you have to learn why these functions are, right? So it's simple. Some function is used to add particular numbers together. An average function is used to find the average regarding particular numbers. And the max function is using uh, to find out what is the maximum value or the largest value from a number group. And mean, mean again, uh, it will uh, find you the minimum value count, this is a little bit uh, different, it will count the cells, which includes only a value, right? Only a value, I'll show you the difference, and say how many number of cells are there, which contains a value, not a text, a value, right? Can a numbers the Right, so those are the, uh, uh, tasks that is performed by these functions. So those function names, sum, average, max, mean, count. So from the function, you can uh, figure out what is the uh, task of that function, right? And now let's see how we are going to use these functions, right? Now, let me introduce you. Yeah. Now, let me take a, a random numbers, kind of random numbers over here. So, I'll take some numbers like this and some particular numbers like this. Uh, let's not put zero, let's put 10. And 
into right now first of all uh, what is the range that my uh, numbers are being filled so like from when to when yeah send me the answer what is the range of my uh, numbers number series yes from the cell reference yeah 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 yes 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 behara it is starting from a1 and to e2 yeah so we uh, we indicate in uh, that particular thing in excel format like a1 colon e2 right it doesn't matter whether it is from capitals or symbols but it's better you put uh, capitals right mukha the column head as capital in theory and isa but uh, it's not going to harm uh, to your uh, function right uh, it's going to be as it is so the range is from a1 colon e2 all right so now now what we are trying to do is we are trying to use the functions so now i'm going to insert a row over here and i'm going to uh, change the size of my uh, cells yeah i'm going to give the size of 4 Okay, so I'm going to find the total average, the maximum value, and the minimum, and the count. Right. so find the total now i'm going to do it row by row so here this total will give me the total of these things this average is going to show me the average of these things so maximum minimum count is going to do the same right same means like the uh, the relevant function so for total i can use the fu sum function so how we are going to use a function it is the very same way that we are going to use a formula right we are going to start it from the equal sign so in the formulas you can remember we put a equal sign then we just refer the cell references right so both are starting from a equal sign so uh, formula so far we know we just use the cell references but for a function remember for a function there is a name and there is two brackets for that function right so each and every function that you are going to learn on your syllabus is having this pattern it starts from a equal sign it has a particular name and it has its own brackets so inside the brackets i'm sorry inside the brackets we are going to define what are the things that need to be summed right so according to my requirement according to my requirement i need the sum of the numbers which is in the a1 sorry a2 b2 c2 d2 and e2 right so i can give this cell references in several different ways right so what are the several different ways so first one the easiest way i'm showing you so i can put a1 i'm sorry not the a1 it's a2 colon e2 right so it is highlighted so it shows us from when to when we are going to have the sum so once i press enter it gives me 25 so is it correct 1 plus 5 is 6 6 plus 8 is 
uh, 14, 14 plus 4 is 18, 18 plus 7 is 25. Yeah, so that's answer is correct. So 25. And I can have this same answer. I can have the same answer by illustrating the cell references separating by a comma. So that means I can go with a2 comma b2 comma c2 comma d2 oh, oh my god it's not it's not right okay b2 comma c2 comma d2 comma e2 right even that method is also giving me the same answer which is the 25th, 20, 25, right? So there are two methods, right? We can give the range A2 colon E2, or you can go with like this, A2 comma B2 comma C2 comma D2 comma E2, which is a lengthier one, which is a time consuming one, but still it is going to give you the correct answer, right? And as well as I can mix these two representations, right? So I can write the same range by using something like this. I say A2 colon C2. So that means A2 from A2 to C2, then comma D2 and comma E2. Uh, no, no. Desandu, we didn't write anything. We are still discussing the uh, functions, right? So this is another way of writing it. So A2 colon C2. So it will select the first three cells. Then comma D2, comma E2, right? So likewise, we can use the colon and the comma to refer the things which can be put inside the sum function. And remember, we are not going to use any plus marks inside this, right? Api pluses pavichikaran nametan di. Pluses pavichikaran puluan thank you right but not we are, we are not going to use it here according to our syllabus right so i'll i'll show you all three ways right so this function can be written as equal sum I can say a1 colon, I'm sorry, not the a1, a2 colon, e2, that's the second way. And the third way is equal sum I can say a2 comma b2 comma C2 comma D2 comma E2. Right. And do you know we have this uh, facility to see the formulas in our uh, particular Excel sheet? So, to see the formula, so it will show all the formulas in the Excel sheet, we have to go to View tab, View tab, and there is Oh, hold on, it's not the view tab. I think it's the formula step. Yes, in the formula step, in the formula step, show formula. There is something called show formula. Once I click on that, see, it shows me the formulas now, right? So these are the three ways that I can take the sum of the same range. So I can mix the things up. I can give the range straight away and I can separate the things using commas. 
Now, these comma separations will be very much useful for you when you are having, or like when you are doing the addition of the values which are not adjacent to each other. Ekata ekalanga nati thangolati na components bolo. Ekatu wo hoy na kote. We need the comma because most of the times colon is not going to work. The monkey work a one valai, c three valai, e one valai, e two valai. Ekat hoy la din na kela. So we have to find the number. So we have to reference the numbers exactly. Right, so we are going to say a one, comma c two, c three, a two, comma c three, comma e two. So then one and three and seven will be add together, right? So when the things are, the when the values are scattered around, we use comma to give the references. But when the values are stays together, we can go with the colon. And uh, which defines a specific cell range. Okay, people, are you clear with the sum function? Okay, how about others? Yes. Sir. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Great. Now, keep this in your mind. The references, the referencing methods. Me apni reference karan na kiya lahat agat the methods. Tiko me varahan na tuli lehti na methods. They are, they can also be applied into these other formulas: average, maximum, minimum, and count without a problem. The references yanne ona ma formula ekka me krama valing ekak bithar. Right. So you have to practice, right? I'm going to give you a very short note regarding this, right? So we'll do it when the time comes, right? So for the moment, I'm going to show this to you. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, take away this show formula one. So what I have to do is click on that show formula again. So the highlighting of the show formula will be gone. Uh, then we will be we won't be able to see the formulas, right? So where is the show formula one? It is under the formula tab. Formula tab, formula auditing group, show formula, right? And now I'm going to show what happens with the average. Now to take the total, we use sum function. To take the average, we are going to use equal average and you can see when i'm typing the things the functions are being arranged can you see that now see how many functions are there from a which is starting from a see there are some 20 to 30 functions right there are a very big list of functions in the excel where we can use them for different kinds of uh, purposes, right? And if you like uh, uh, move your, like from the uh, arrow keys, you can move around the uh, functions. And when you are moving to one particular function to the other particular function, this shows what the function does, right? So if I comes to the uh, place average, right? I'm sorry. Right, see, it shows. I come to the average. It shows, see, return the average arithmetic mean of its arguments, which can be numbers or names, arrays, etc., etc. Right? So, it has a tooltip. We call these things uh, not actually the tooltip. It's it's a it's a formula tip, right? Tooltip kira kena tool leka kote adal ba pita kapa kena kote. So it it gives us the idea. And uh, what is this function is all about? So without typing the things, I can just select the average function from here, right? So it. 
once we double click on that name average is already like automatically typed into this place and it is asking for the range right so we are going to give the range as how a1 i'm not i'm sorry i always uh, messed up with that a2 colon e2 right so that is the range that we want for the calculation for the average so once we enter oh my god it gives us gives us five yeah it should be another because total is 25 so 25 will be divided by five numbers so it's a solid answer which is given as the average as five right so the reference range can be given in the same way that we have written over here and there right may tangwala liya ko with the term range ka denna puluwan i'm just using just one particular range maximum number so what's the maximum number out of this it is 7 right so once we write the max function to this particular point it's going to show me the maximum number so i'm going to say equal to maximum to have the maximum uh, function it is the max that we are using and when you are typing the max and if you press tab key it's going to automatically put you a bracket right if it is being chosen right max key ne already select vela thiyena na tab ek opu gama you are going to have a particular bracket so again what's going to be the range it is from a to colon e2 right and once i press enter it's going to show me 8 yeah 8 is the maximum number regarding the minimum number equals min here the minimum number is going to be the one so min i'm going to give the same range a1 i'm sorry a2 colon e2 enter yes it's going to give me one and for count i'm going to say equals a2 colon e2 i haven't uh, write the function name equal count a2 colon e2 right so if i press enter put over the mics off karaganda right you have to be very careful right so the count is giving you five now the count range it is given from a2 to e2 right and just see what's happen if i give it like this equal count within brackets i'm going to say f1 colon j1 so that means my names total average maximum minimum and count right and i press enter it gives me a zero right and again if i try this equal count i'm going to uh, take f1 colon f4 right f1 colon f4 it's going to give me 3 and why it is going to give me 3 it is because there is three values and one text so count function is counting just the values right so if it contains any characters 
Or in other words, if it is if it is formatted as a text, count is not going to count those things. Terunada. Yes, yes, Osipma. Definitely, definitely you can use that. Right? Yeah. Okay. Tesandu eka ven ne mehman. Tesandu count eka gana ne the tesandu ya huwe. Right. Okay. Ravidu, I'm doing the same. So count take a gun nakota api saman in karane and venus up next saman I count kill the andone saman I count kill the andone eat a passe api varahan natule count take a gun awash name of the count take a karane sell like a can a values theater sells key up the other values theater a catholic in a value we can add a dollar See the this year the panda had a killer dollar and hand him a values dollar the inner sales key up you know the killer counter make the Maya current it would make the metanami a two colon e two killer deal at the bummer a key pain at the end values for height neither a two a key a katino b two a key for hatino a with theater sales for hey values for hot you know right so count the can current me values theana sales ticker values with a theana sales ticker count current right a kai metan out there paha kilo galanta look at the meter paha kila select a lot in the values but paha theana sales paha metan out there been to kill away it got a select Latin range okay if one colon J1 if one means here J1 means here so if one to J1 means this blue color area that are make a values nanny again the in a text a Kurutian right it got a again Nati Eva Nama count function like a count current name right so that is because this particular cell is taking zero. Tesandu Terunada. Ravindu Terunada. Right. Yes, or me. That is the next one I'm going to do. Right. And metana tunai kelave. The range that I have given is F1 to F4. So F1 to F4, there are three values 25, 25, 25 kilowattiche values to not, you know, and one text. So count will only count the values. That means three. Right. So it is giving us. The answer as three. Right. Yes, this and they are not counting the letters, they are counting only the values. Right? The values Q are now. If I put something like this, three dash eight. Now three dash eight Q are my game with any data. Right, Mama count function like a clear what method a yatta equal count. I'm giving these three uh, range presenter. See, it is getting three as the value. It got a make a mea value back a killer tamai at the number back a killer tamai consider color the why is that now do you remember the number formats that we discuss 
number, currency, account in short date, long date, time, percentage, fraction, and all these things. So if you are, if it is a date, it's going to count you as a number format, right? Api time make a good deal about eight colon thirty. Right, so I'll uh, arrange this as a time. And if I do the count function here, equal count, equal count, and I am giving now, when I'm typing a, a particular function, I can put my uh, mouse and select the things that I need. Select may automatically Right? So if I just press enter, make a complete karno. See, it is still giving me three. So remember those number formats. Those number formats are going to count this as a value. Right, at the method in the number formats for in Kauruhari in Navanang, A with here to manage which a owner mechanic number up then. A bit of good up with our Anitiva number scale. We can figure that out, right? If it is in number, if it is in currency, if it is in account, we can figure out, okay, this is going to be a number, right? But specifically when it comes to the date and time, remember those two are values as well, right? Even when you are having a fraction, right? Let's check that as a fraction. Right? So if we check this as a fraction as well, so if we take it like 0 0.5 and let's make it a fraction, right? And still, if we have equal count, and I'm choosing these three things, still it gives me the three because fraction is taken as a value as well. Yeah, yes. Then Samahara Velavata Tesandu Nedapita Mehema Dunnam Api Podak Can it Api Kalabala Venon? Like there are like eight, and text is also there. Right? That's going to be a problem. I'm, I'm just typing as C1 over here. Right? So if I say equal count and give this range and press enter, see my answer is two. So they haven't considered C1 as a value. Right? So it's only four and 10, they count as values, not C1. And we can see something very significant when we are like uh, working with the values and the uh, non-value things. See now C1 is left aligned as the texts, right? But all other values are right aligned, right? So it is counting. Is this clear, people? Any doubts regarding this? All right. So you have to remember how these functions are going to behave, right? And what is the purpose of these functions, right? Okay, so let's sneak into the uh, textbook, right? So we talk about these functions and they were like uh, explaining what are the functions of these things. And uh, yeah, here they have shown you the things. Uh, and yes, people, so I, I didn't mention about this kind of things, right? A bit of pulu, I'm paying the ranges, they can't be you know, A1 colon A3 comma c1 colon c3 right so it is something like this 
Now, if I want to get the uh, addition of these two and these two, or sales hatra gan one nang, right? So I can give equal sum a two colon b two, comma d three colon e two. Right? If I want to take the sum, I can say equal sum a two colon. I'll take c three. Comma, not the C three, uh, C two. A two colon C two, comma. Then I say C three colon E three. So two different ranges, All right? So I can write the formula like this as well, right? And this is because uh, to indicate us like there are more refer more more values like regarding this uh, formula. It's not an error, right? Take a bit of Excel value in the body. Uda work. Yeah, a bit of product indicate. Can I? Yeah, it's a bit of better than that. Our values. Do you know? Yeah, I will consider. Can I? Yeah, here an idea. I can. A bit of product indicate. Can I? There are more values uh, adjacent to this particular area. So please consider. Okay, right? We can uh, ignore that. Right? And when you are printing something out, this little uh, green color box is not going to print, right? So don't worry, that little triangle is not going to print, right? So likewise, you can use the ranges, right? So for average, they are giving us the same thing for max function. They just uh, explain the max, the min, and the count, right? And uh, yeah, here comes the exercise. We better do this, right? Okay, people. So now you can give a try to this. Page number 209, right? Send me the answers. Send me the answers. 209, page number. Okay, or sit me, that is correct. Yes, Osanda, that should be the answer. Yes, Samitu, that is the answer. Uh, Samitu, it is not the semicolon, Puta. It's the colon that you have to use. A to colon. Puta, the printing mistake. A to colon. Yes, that is the answer. Good. Uh, Sayuri. Uh, you can't just say b2 colon d2 dua. You have to say the formula or the function. So it should be equal sum something. Or sit me, that is correct. Or Sandra, second one is correct as well. Uh, Pehara uh, dua. If you are going to use b2, c2, d2, all. Those should be separated by a comma, not from the colon, right? So it should be equal sum b two comma c two comma d two. Otherwise, you can say b two colon d two. B two vala sita d two vala d two dakka b two to d two. So two is signed by the colon. Or sit me, uh, yeah, the third one. 
uh, let me see, what is the formula to be inserted in cell B8 to find the highest score made in first term? Ah, yes, the answer is correct, yeah. So yeah, that should be the answer. And uh, Udamya, second one is correct. Asitni, max function is correct. Senya, your answer is correct to her. Tesandu, yes. Tesandu, uh, it's not the square brackets, Tesandu. It must be parentheses, normal brackets, right? Square bracket demo, Varadi Buddha. Eka, uh, normal brackets when known. Osanda, your answer is correct regarding max function. Uh, yeah, Sairi, your answer is correct. And Ositmi, uh, yeah, let me see the count function. So what is the formula to be inserted in cell C8 to find total number of students who have appeared for the term test two? Okay, yes, yes. Uh, C2, yes, that is correct. That is correct. Yes, Asitmi, your count function is also correct. And Pehara, your second one is correct, Dua. And Asitmi, yes. Ah, uh, Asitmi. They are asking about the third term, though. I think you have gone with the second term. Lowest mark in the third term, though, they are asking. Yeah, Osanda, yes. Your answer is correct. Pehara, your answer is correct. Udamya, your answer is correct. Dinelka, yes, let me see. Okay, yes, first one is correct. Second one is correct. Third one is correct. Fourth one is correct. Fifth one is correct. Very good too. Pehara, yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Asitmi, yes, it's the third term. But Asitmi, I think you have uh, sent me the answers from C's. Ah, no, sorry, Asitmi, uh, I miss, uh, calculate, or like I, 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 I messed up with the uh, Osanda's uh, uh, answer. Your one is correct, though. Your one is correct. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Right, so Osanda, yeah, fifth one is correct. Uh, Tesandu, uh, spellings for the average is wrong, Puta. So, Eka Hadaganda, Anittika Hari. Osanda, uh, B3 colon D3 kelaliana puluang, take a take a puluan put them over the local range a cow, where puluan no come the killer B3 tid deca D3. Right? Come other dalian network, Emma puluang, right? Udamia, yes, that is correct. Sayuri, your answer is correct regarding max function. Pehara, regarding mean function, that is correct. Denuka, First one is correct and second one is correct. Uh, yes, Tesandu, yes, that is correct. Sayuri, fourth one is correct. Right, and uh, Denuka, yes, that is correct. Sayuri, yes, mean function is correct, Dua. very good. And Denuka, yes, count function is correct. Tesandu, now that is wrong, Buddha. Uh, we don't have any function called total. 
right you should use equal sum not the total for that right it's always the sum right apita thiyenne putha functions pahai sum average max mean and count right those should be used then okay yeah fifth one is correct the sandu so i think you are written this for the fourth one it's not the total putha it's the count apita eka ki denek inno the total number of students kiyana eka apita bala ganna wenne ganan karala ne right so it's going to be the count all right Yes, Senya. That's correct. The third one is correct. Right now, in your examination, you are going to receive questions something similar to this. These questions, right? It will be a little bit uh, the uh, the the Excel sheet will be a little bit advanced. Advanced means like cells. Okay, katana thi yana vidhi hetu thi yana pulvam. But basically, you are going to use these functions. Tesandu ya. Tesandu, hold on. Tesandu fourth one ne ke yahan ne puta. What is the formula to be inserted in cell C eight to find the total number of students? All right, okay, right, okay. Tesandu, how do you get one of them? Right, good. So most of you have sent me the answers. right so we talked about formatting the uh, uh, worksheet right uh, we don't need to go through it again right and uh, yeah we we talked about this uh, uh, formatting uh, the cells in as a as a particular uh, number as a particular uh, text those kind of things Uh, and denoka yes that is correct regarding the min function uh, let me see the fifth one yeah it is asking for the minimum right yes yes that is correct oh uh, ravindu okay ravindu says uh, ravindu can't see the screen can others see the screen clearly Okay, Ravindu, I'll uh, hold on. I'll stop sharing and uh, we'll do do a sharing again. Hold on. Can you see it now, Ravindu? Right. so okay so i'm going to go for the uh, next topic right so we have done with this uh, uh, worksheet format in part earlier we get to know how these things are being aligned and underlined in italic we know it uh, from the uh, word right and uh, we talked about this different kinds of formatings that we can give to the uh, values like a uh, number like a uh, time date kind of things right we, we discuss about those right so we are not going to uh, talk about those right the scientific method uh, so i'm not going to uh, tell you about that right and about the currency display yeah we talk about it the alignment we talk about it right yeah so then we are going to uh, talk about the relative and the absolute cell reference so this is the very end part of the uh, excel right make a kata karama excel ever when all right uh, we got the uh, graphs and charts part right okay so um, before i move to the uh, absolute and uh, relative cell references right let me uh, remind you uh ravindu we didn't wrote anything api ara prashna tika kara vitarai mukut liwe na ha right okay so before i move to the uh, uh, this relative and absolute cell references let me come to my uh, example again
right now now it's like this now you know what is the task of the fill handle right earlier uh, i was introducing you the fill handle uh, for some letters fill handle is right over here at the right bottom corner so using the fill handle once you go on to it and click and drag it will allow you to copy accordingly right so if it is a test text, it's going to be like this. And if we give some uh, two letters, it's going to copy me the same two letters again and again. But if we are giving a particular value, so the difference will be considered and that pattern is going to continue. So one, three, five, seven, nine kind of things, it's going to continue, right? And when it comes to the uh, formulas and functions, which uses the cell references, now it's going to be a little bit different, right? Now, let me rewrite the formula over here as sum. It says A2 colon E2 right and i go to the formula tab and i'll take show formula thing so in here i have equal sum a2 colon e2 now look very closely what is happening i'm going to use the fill handle over here over here and i'm going to click and drag it so the the, the formula in the F2 is going to copy to the formula in the F to the F3. F2 has equal sum A2 colon E2. Now that is going to copy to the F3 cell. So here I'm copying it and I'm releasing the mouse button. Tama mouse button release I'm releasing it. What has happened? Look closely. What has happened? We have copied the formula one row down. Ekka row ekka pahala to tamaya bhi copy kare. On the same column, on the same column, right? Ekka ma column meki. What has happened? Does the formulas row head uh, the column headers? Column headers are indicated by English capital letters. Have they changed? Have the row headers are changed, people? No, they haven't. Yes, or says me, they haven't. Right? What's happened to the row headers? Row headers represent the numbers. So when we are copying along the column downwards what has happened number has increased see now here it has a2 this has become a3 this has e2 this has become e3 right so how many rows did i came down so if I come downwards just by one row, my row headers are going to increase by one row, by, by one value, right? Like by one. Is that clear? Terunada. Yes, people? Okay, so got a paleak dige pahalata copy karo ape column make a same column make a now paleak mamar dige or paleak dige anyway tiruak dige tiruak dige 
पहलटो कॉपी करो तीरु वेनास वेन्ने ने हैं एक याने तीरु वट अदाल वट ये नेतन तीरु इंडिकेट कराने कॉलम वाली ये तो पटा कॉलम में का रिफर करने एड्रेस से का चेंज वेन्ने ने इंग्लिश या कुछ चेंज वेन्ने ने पहलटे ये ना कोटे रोहेडर्स इंडिकेट करना काटिया एक किंग वैडी वेनो now if i copy this formula this formula to this cell what should be the answer yes people type me the answer yes what it should be i'm going to copy it right over here very good pehara very good right very good asitma right it should be the equal sign at the beginning to a i know it's a printing mistake dinelka very good it should be the answer right okay if i type this formula if i if i if i drag the uh, formula udamya yes that is the answer desandu yes that is the answer right now if i copy this if i copy this into this cell what should be the answer yes what should be the answer yes dinelka that's correct that should be the answer yes samitu very good asitma yes asitmi very good yeah that should be the answer right so uh ravindu yeah ravindu uh it is not the answer but i disconnect una metik katha karana koda poddak video ka refer karanna right okay so i'll show you i'm copying this formula to the f4 see what happens equal a4 colon e4 then it's not only the uh, fill handle right if i just copy this formula i'm copying it man eka copy karama thamai me kadiri wage wateta yanne me right click karala copy walata yanna puluwam i can use control c i just use control c and if i copy it and i'm going to copy it to this particular cell metan ta paste karno so it is moving how many rows three rows so in this row you are having a4 colon e4 so me line ekata yana kota 4 ekka 5 wenawa metan ta yana kota 5 ekka 6 wenawa etani metan ta yana kota 5 ekka 6 ekka 7 wenawa එනම් මෙතනට පේස්ට් කරොත් පේස්ට් වෙන්න ඕනේ ඊක්වල් සම් a7 colon e7 right here i'm pasting it see it says equal sum a7 colon e7 okay now that is clear right so what we have to remember if we are copying downwards to a column our letter is not going to change i letter එක change වෙන්නේ නැත්තේ columns change වෙන්නේ නැති නිසා same column එකේ පහලට එන්නේ same column එකේ පහලට එනකොට මේ row headers වලට මොකද වෙන්නේ එකින් එක වැඩි වෙනවා ඒක නිසා ඔයාගේ formula එකේ තියෙන row header එක මෙන්න මෙතන indicate වෙලා තියෙන number එකක් පේලියෙන් පේලිය පහලට යනකොට එකින් එක වැඩි වෙනවා right so that is what you need to know is that clear everyone right okay all right so let me ask this question right i'm going to type a formula over here equal sum i'm saying b3 colon d5 
Now, this is my formula, right? Now, think very carefully. I'm going to copy this onto this particular cell right over here, right? Which is the G8 is the cell reference, right? So what should be the answer when I copy it? Remember the golden rule. A comma column make when you are moving downwards to a downwards in a column, your row header is going to increase one by one. Pehara, I think you got the answer, but I think you have mistyped, like, like you have missed the capital D in your answer, right? Yes, Dinelka, that is the answer. Yes, Pehara, yes, that is the answer. Very good. Ravindu, yeah, that should be the answer, Puta. It's not the semicolon. And again, it's not the square brackets. It should be the, uh, the normal brackets, the parenthesis, and the colon. Denuka, yeah, that is correct. Ositmi, that is not the answer. Asit me, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain what's happened. Right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think so what it should be the answer. Here it is B3. I am asking you to copy this to this particular cell. So this three is going to become four in here and five in this cell and six, it's going to be in this cell. So when B3 is copied to this cell, it's going to be B6. Asit me, did you got the uh, mistake? Right. So remember, it is all about figuring out how the copying is happening and for how many rows that you are going downwards, right? That you are going downwards, right? So if I copy this from here and I paste it over here, this is going to be the answer. B3 become four, five, and six when it comes here, D5, become D6, D7, and D8 when it comes here. Are you clear with this, everyone? Right. Okay, brilliant. Now, you have to think this carefully. I'm going to take away this average thing. And I'm going to copy this to this cell. Then pahala to never copy when Uda to copy when. What should be the answer? Think a little, think a little. You can do this. Pahala to yanakota, if it is increased, very good does it mean? Uda to yanakota, it should be decreased. Very good, very good, everyone. Senya, Dinelka, Osanda, yes, very good. Ito kota api kolam mekak dige pahala te yana kota. Valib meka vedi vena wana. Samitu, yes, Pehara, yes, that is the correct answer. Sayuri, yes, very good, right? Api kolam mekak dige uda te yana kota. Tesandu, yes, that is the answer. Me valib meka aduel no. So if I copy this to this particular cell, three should become two and one. That means B1 should be there. Five should become, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Udamya, Tesandu, and Sayuri. Dolabudara, Ogalangi, D a K reference, Ogalara, the Ganathi. B a K hari, B3 becomes B1. But D5 is going to become what? D5, D4, and D3 it's going to be. Yes. 
right? C. So make two na kia neka. The three will become two and one. Five will become what? Four and three. Right? Okay. So Tesandu, yes, I I have seen that you have done the uh, correctness. Udamya and Sairi. Did you get this? Right. Yeah, Osipi, that's a very uh, nice question. And I'm going to show you uh, what's happened next. Then we B1 will be able to get out of the way. B0 will be able to get out of the way. Let's copy this and see. I'm going to copy it. See, there's going to be a problem. Now, it is said the reference error because there is nothing, there is nothing after the B1, again, before the B1. B1 will be able to get B0 and B1. So it will give us an error. Right? Again, one will be Udata adwe ne zero patta de anne. E vage matamai akurato galante venasvene kakenawa. I'm going to show it to you after that we'll end the session. Eto kota akurenu e valata passe piti passa de anne. Right, people, now you are clear with this. Now let's see. I'm going to get rid of these things. And as well as from this. Now I'm going to copy this onto your right to here. The methane methane te nakota mukda venne. Your row is not going to change. It's the same row, but column is going to change. That means row header will not be affected, but the column header. See what happens. I'm copying this to, to your right side. What happened? B has become C. I'm sorry. Now B has become C over here and D has become E. Right? So the same logic. Column make a pahala tayana kota. The row headers are increasing. Column make a ihala tayana kota. Row headers are decreasing. In the same way, row eka ka dakuno ata pakta tayana kota. Column headers are increasing. Same thing happens when you are going to the left. May I metan to copy karot muka koi dehna? Yes, everyone, what should be the answer? I'm copying this into this side. So it's not the number that's going to change. It's going to change the letter. Very good, very good. It should be equal sum A3 Udamya, it's not a five doer. My then you do get IP mistake. It's going to be equal sum a three colon c five. Right? So here we go a three colon c five. Right? Okay, very good people. Right? Oh, answer say, okay, 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 answer kahari. Right now, this is what we call. Relative reference, right? So the relative reference means when we are copying a particular formula or a function, they make a formula like a function, they make a cell references, it's going to change. Right? I'm going to show you more examples by next week, right? So this is called the relative reference. Relative is Right, the copy copy karana kota copy karana tandra sape shiva make a venasveno. So it is relatively 
referring later you will get to know there is something called absolute reference in there we are talking about how we can change this formula to not to change when we are copying copy karana kota wenas novena vidihata tiya ganne kohomada ekata thamai api absolute reference kiyala kiyana right okay let's talk about the relative reference more on next week right with more examples then we'll move to the absolute reference right okay so i'll see you on next week for the very same time people so the time is up we have to say goodbye for today right thank you very much have a very nice weekend and be very safe people right for this coming two three weeks you have to be very very careful right otherwise the situation is going to be more worse than today right so be very careful be extra extra careful people right and be and and have a very good uh, evening and a very nice weekend thank you very much people i'll see you on next week for the same time right okay thank you very much thank you very much everyone right okay thank you thank you very much